Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your January 2020 tarot reading. For the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Virgo. So I'm just pulling an overarching tarot card to start the reading with. And then we'll go into the specific energy Virgo. So then I'll pull four general energies. And then with the separate deck, we will look at love and romance and money and career. Okay. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angel, spirits, guides. What's the overarching message for Virgo? Thank you. Ah, oh, nice. We have the page of pentacles. This is earth energy, which is aligned to you. Um... The Page of Pentacles is now understand your own abilities, your own practical skills, your own experience to bring positive change in your life. Because now's the time to take those steps, that first step actually, this is the beginning of change, positive change. You see the page plants seeds in that field and he's waiting, there's a patience here that you need because there's a promise of really, promise of really reaping the rewards that you sow. But it takes time, it takes patience. Keep putting in the effort, keep putting in the work. Keep tending to the situations that you want to bring growth to now. Because this is about making it happen in your real world, in your conscious reality. The pentacles can be linked to our money, our career, our homes, our property, um, our value, our self-worth even. So it is very much about the stability and structure that we need in our lives. Um, it can even be people, valued connections, people who um, are part of our own foundation, people that we rely on, people that we build our lives around. Could also be about a new connection coming to you, this can be. Can also be about communication of an opportunity, could be to do with money and career, if not a person. Um, this is also about maybe taking steps to bring greater material security to your life. So going to further education to get greater, more professional qualifications, to further yourself on the business front. This can also be about studying, um, you know, to qualify, to be ahead of the crowd, so to speak, in terms of career. Um, can also be about children, the page of pentacles as well, Virgo. I will say that sometimes when the pages appear, can be about a child in your life. So whatever this is, whatever it means to you, it is the beginnings of positive change. Again, we have the red hat. It's about being switched on, about taking action now. It's time to bring positive change to an area of your life that needs it. Okay, let's choose the four general energies, please, angel spirits, guides for Virgo, January 2020. Thank you. We have the Eight of Cups. The Moon. Two of Pentacles. Four of Swords. I'm going to pull one moon more for this. One, one moon for this. One more for this. Six of Cups. Okay. Okay, Seven of Cups, Virgo. Interesting, you've got the Six, Seven and Eight of Cups. This is in your love and romance. Five of Cups, and I'm going to pull one more. Ten of Swords. 
Okay, let's do money and career, Virgo. Thank you. Yeah, we've got another page. You might be giving some money to a child, you know, in order to advance their career. You know, supporting them financially in order to bring great growth into their life. I'm just saying that as an aside. I won't focus the whole reading around that, but there's an opportunity for some of you that you are, you are supporting a child. Uh, we have the two of wands here. Powerful energy. I'm going to pull one more for money and career. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, Virgo, let's pull a reading card. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what do we have for Virgo, please? Message for Virgo. Oh wow, you're being shown divine love. This is just allowing love to wash over to you, over you. Um, be open to receive love. Be open to receive now as well. Because when the divine love card appears, it's good things can happen. Not just in love. Uh, but you're very much being shown love now. Being guided forward. See, this is the card of hidden blessings as well from the universe, God, the divine, whatever it means to you. The moon card is about hidden blessings. And I feel that even though everything might not be clear to you right now, even though you're not sure about the steps that you need to take, though I do think some of you are beginning to take decisive action, certainly in January or leading up from the beginning of whenever this reading goes live, um, I do feel for some of you, You are bringing greater clarity into your life, the Four of, of Swords. It is allowing you to advance towards the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of positive change. Taking the steps that you need to take towards that, practical steps. Now sometimes that can be the Ace of Cups. So Virgo, the Archangel Oracle card that came out is Take Back Your Power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Beautiful. And I think this is about doing that practically. This is the Earth energy, remember? So the Earth energy is in your element. The page holds the Ace of Pentacles. The combination of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to pull a spirit message and then we'll get into the reading, Virgo. <clears throat> okay, you've got two. <laughs> I think there's love here again. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. I do think you're being asked to be open to receive now. And we have hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're struggling up struggling in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. And I think I think I feel some of you are opening to new love, new connections. I do. I'm gonna start here with love. Let's start here with love because Something has ended. Both of these cards can be about endings in a way. 
this is uh, somebody mourning a relationship that's gone could be, uh, can link with jobs that are gone can link with and um, friendships that are gone you know whatever this is but you know this is in a love and romance reading so this is about mourning what's gone and not looking at the potential in the present that is surrounding you now new love new opportunities to connect to something new it is about allowing yourself to move from what's gone because there's a big ending here we have the ten of swords tens and tarots are endings and I feel for some of you it, it could have been painful you might not have seen it coming actually swords can be about truth it can be about clarity there could have been some some truths that have come to light here you could have been in a dark place for a period of time we have a dark cloak we have dark clouds here very much uh, connecting to our our inner world darkness from within but here's the sun a new day is rising now a new dawn pushing away the dark clouds it is time to move on from whatever the situation was and refocus on your hopes dreams and wishes new opportunities and this is somebody who is beginning to focus on hopes dreams and wishes you might have pinned your hopes dreams and wishes on somebody in particular and it could have led to disappointment Virgo in love that's what I'm feeling for some of you but it is time to hope again it is time to refocus on your hopes dreams and wishes and not allow your emotions to get in the way or anything to get in the way of stopping you reaching out and grabbing an opportunity now that's full of potential that's full of positive uplifting energy it's full of transformational energy there's a promise of something wonderful here but you have to make it happen now you have to take action you have to turn from looking in the past to connecting with those two cups in the present um, because there's a message of, of happiness being ahead. You see, what I'm seeing in these cards, and it's interesting, we have a seven and we have two cups here full of opportunity. Two cups that are full. It is looking at the glass half full now. Not, half, not the glasses that are empty, but the glasses that are full. And we have the two and the seven, which brings nine, the nine of cups, wishes coming true, getting to your heart's desire. That's what you need to take steps towards now because there's transformational opportunity here there could be opportunities or offers to connect with new people in love and he's taking the steps to be open to receive that now taking the practical steps interesting I'm going to do money and career as I'm already over here Virgo I normally start over here but I'm, I just felt drawn to over here so let's get to it we have the knight of pentacles now this can be an opportunity in money and career um, something that you might have been waiting for you might have already had conversations about this but there could be a new opportunity that you've been working hard towards and um, like I said there could be some communication to do with an opportunity coming your way and um, that brings real change in your life that maybe you want more money more security more solidity in your life this is where you're getting on track to where you want to be might have taken a while to manifest I will say the Knight of Pentacles can be a stagnating energy in some way where you just keep on working hard some of you might have been sending off CVs and um, going for interviews meeting people having conversations and um, you might have been trawling the internet doing the work setting up job feeds whatever it is um, that you do um, and this is where things have been taken a time that you've been waiting patiently for things to manifest and this is where they're beginning to manifest in January for some of you uh, because there is opportunity you see you're choosing an opportunity this person chooses an opportunity this page holds an opportunity I feel for some of you there will be opportunity in money and career certainly that brings that reignites your passions you know this is the beginnings of change the beginnings of something new um, powerful energy Virgo powerful energy the beginnings of new growth where you can really follow your passion something that's aligned to what you really want to happen now uh, to bring positive change 
Now, the Two of Wands is an interesting one because it is taking the steps that you need to take now to realize or grow your, realize in a greater way your own potential, your own power, your own passions, making them happen, and taking steps to realize that now. This is somebody who takes control, they take action. And this is very much a, a green light to go with the Two of Wands. Time to take the steps that you need to take to shape your world for the better, certainly in terms of money and career, because there's opportunity. There's opportunity around you. There might be two opportunities that you're offered. And this is where you're choosing your path. And, and no, understand your own practical capabilities, your worth, your value, your self-esteem. If you've been through a difficult time in money and career before where your esteem's been knocked in any way, you're getting it back. It's time to focus on that. Understand your own capabilities. Because this is somebody who understands their own power and potential to bring growth in their life now. And this is very much standing on your own two feet, holding that staff, owning your own power to bring positive growth into your life now. So beautiful message. But there could be some communication with regard to an opportunity. I definitely feel that for some of you. Now, like I said, there's two pages here, so there could be something to do with children as well, where you're supporting them financially. Maybe they've struggled on the career front. Some of them might be struggling to find a job. They could be finding a job in January. I don't normally do third parties. But I do feel that if you're supporting someone financially, you're either supporting them through college or supporting them um, to get a, a better position with more responsibility, or you could be supporting them financially while they're looking for a job. But either way, know that opportunity is coming in. So I think the support that you've given them is coming in, is, is, is bringing real results. Now Virgo, yes, where you have felt imbalance, and you see there's water in the background. Water in tarot represents our emotions and feelings. This is where something might have thrown you off balance. It could be to do with this energy here, the loss, um, something ending, something that hurt you deeply, something that caused emotional imbalance in your life. This is where you're now being asked to ground yourself, put both feet on the floor. Put both feet on the floor to bring positive change in your life. Take the practical steps that you need to take to bring real change and, and balance into your life now. And I do feel that you are doing that. You see, we have the red cloak. Okay, I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a lot of information at the moment, so just bear with me. But we have the red cloak here. This is somebody who had hopes and dreams. They had pinned their hopes and dreams on someone or a situation or a career or a job or whatever it was. And it hasn't lived up to expectation. There's been disappointment here maybe for some of you. And this is where they are taking control of the situation. They are reigniting their own passions. They are turning their back on what's not fulfilled them and replacing it with new dreams, new hopes, new wishes now and taking action to make those a reality. So that is a beautiful card. It's the card of Lord, this is the Lord of Abandoned Dreams or Success or whatever it is, because it's replacing things that haven't worked out with something moving towards with new hope. And I think that's why hope is here, because you're finding new hope, a new passion, a new drive of energy to take action now. To find the missing cup, and obviously eight, this is an eight. The ninth cup again is wish fulfillment. Hearts, getting your heart's desire. Bringing something into your life that is completely fulfilling for you. That's what you're moving towards. Powerful energy, Virgo. Now, yeah, I did get another. So, like I said, you can see what I'm saying. This is somebody who is owned by their negativity. And things are changing. And I do think there is an overlap with these cards for that reason. This is where you're being told to reignite your passions, understand your own power, to take action, to bring change in your life now and take the steps that you need to take. The cloak changes from black to red. You're finding new passions. Yeah. Because I do feel some of you, you're, you're being given hidden blessings. 
Now this is about using your intuition, connecting to your instinct to guide you through those murky waters of our emotions. Because this is where things can be magnified. This is when our fear, our doubt can keep us paralyzed. This is when things can be blown out of perspective with our emotions running high. And like I said, you need to ground yourself now in order to understand how to make decisive action and choices in your life. I do feel some of you are recovering from a situation that might have been challenging, but there's change afoot here, positive change, Virgo. This is somebody who is getting clarity, seeing truths of situations, reflecting even, recharging. Some of you might even be recovering from ill health but you're beginning to get back on your feet. This is somebody who has their sword at their side, they're regrouping, they're recharging, they're feeling restored, and they're going out and they understand the actions and the steps that they need to take now. Because it is all about getting to that happy place, finding that emotional equilibrium in your life, finding that happy place. This Six of Cups is finding that happiness connecting to who you are Virgo, a reconnection to who you are in order to move forward in your external environment. This can also for me as a reader be a car of don't allow past negative experiences to stop you from moving forward in a positive way now. This is being open again to receive. But this can also be a reconnection energy with other people, somebody from the past. Um, can be somebody you might have worked with, could be a friend, could also be a past love as well, somebody coming into your life. And there is change, there is new connection, the potential for somebody who might be coming into your life who will form the foundation of your life. So deep connection, keep deep connection energy. Powerful message. But, you know, that could be where the divine love, you're being shown love. There could be an opportunity of love to choose from as well as career, as well as hopes, dreams and wishes that could link to love as well. Because you're walking away from a relationship that might have not worked out to a new relationship. So it could well be somebody from the past coming into your life. Or it could be like somebody who you used to work with offering you a new position. Okay, the card that's come out, Virgo, is shine from within, yeah, and you, you do shine from within, you are the hermit, you hold the lamp from within, um, looks are only skin deep, true beauty shines from within, and it's time for you to shine, this is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty, yes, absolutely, self-acceptance and also accepting what's gone, and getting back on track now, Virgo, taking charge, taking action. Be open to new love though. I do feel for some of you there could be a new love coming into your life too. It might be somebody you already know. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you.